Good day, teachers and learners. Good day, everyone. I am Teacher Tony, a junior high school mathematics teacher. In this video, we will explore on how we can use Glasgow's calculator in learning and teaching remainder theorem and factor theorem. The examples and steps to be discussed in this presentation are also indicated in the Casio book on remainder and factor theorems. The Casio emulator is a great tool for teachers to simulate and process the learning and computation in class. In this lesson, we will be exploring menu 1, Calculate Mode, as we learn and teach Remainder Theorem and Factor Theorem using Casio Class V. Let us consider this first example. In this example, we are asked to use for the Factor Theorem to determine if the binomial x minus 2 is a factor of the polynomial x to the 4th plus 4x cubed minus x squared minus 16x minus 12. To do so, using our Casio class ways, we need to key, to key in the polynomial by pressing the following keys. x, and then the exponent button, and then 4, arrow right, plus 4, and then x, and then shift, and then the square button so that we can have the cube, minus x, and then the square button for x squared, and then minus 1, and then 6, and then x for 16x, and then minus 1 and 2 for the constant term 12. To test for the remainder of this expression at positive 2, we need to press calculate, and then for the value of x, it's 2. So press 2 and then equals, and then pressing equals again, we can see that the remainder is 0. By factor theorem, since the remainder is 0, then we can say that the binomial x minus 2 is a factor of the polynomial x to the 4th plus 4x cubed minus x squared minus 16x minus 12. Let us consider this next example. In this example, we are asked to determine whether the binomial x plus 3 is a factor of the polynomial x to the 4th minus x cubed minus 7x squared minus x plus 6. Using our cash of class V's, we need to input the polynomial. By using our cash of class V's, we need to input the polynomial by pressing the following keys x, and then exponent function, and then 4, then arrow right, minus x, and then shift, and then squared button for the exponent 3, minus 7, and then x, and then squared for the exponent 2, and then minus x plus 6. Using remainder theorem, we need to evaluate the polynomial at x equal to negative 3. Doing so, we need to press calculate and then enter the value of x which is negative 3 and then press equals and another equals gives us 54. Thus, the remainder is 54. Therefore, x plus 3 is not a factor of the polynomial x to the 4th minus x cubed minus 7x squared minus x plus 6. And for the last example, we are asked to determine whether 2x plus 1 is a factor of the polynomial 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 3x minus 2. Again, in our class V's, we need to input the polynomial. So press 2, and then x, and then shift, and then squared for the exponent 3, and then plus 3, and then x, and then squared for the exponent 2, minus 3x minus 2. Using remainder theorem, we need to evaluate again the polynomial at x equal to negative 1 half. Doing so, we need to press calculate and then negative 1 and then the fraction button and then the denominator 2. Then press equals 
and another equals, we have the remainder equal to zero. Since the remainder is zero, by factor theorem, we can say that the binomial 2x plus 1 is a factor of the polynomial 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 3x minus 2. That's it for now. We are positive that our teachers will be able to share this learning experience to our students. We hope that we brought ease in teaching the remainder and factor theorem using our Casio class weeks. See you on our next videos.